The Windsor Lancers jumped out of the gate quickly at the 37th annual Can-Am Classic track and field meet at the Dennis Farrell Fieldhouse this past weekend. As multiple Windsor Lancers reached the podium, others were punching their tickets to the U Sports National Championships held in Windsor in March. The men's 4x200 meter team comprised of Tyler Hopkins, Chris Kramer, Jaden Brown and Matt McKeegan combined to run a fantastic race. McKeegan pulled away in the home stretch to place first ahead of Guelph and the University of Toronto with a time of 129.63. Led by Kelsey Bockwell, the women's team of Courtney Rive, Kelly Hodgins and Alexia Lamott ran an impressive time of 1 minute 40 seconds .2. Coming down the stretch, it was Lamont who edged out the challengers from Guelph at the finish line to take the gold for the Lancers. Bockwell would then continue to put her dominance on display the next afternoon as she blistered the field in the women's 300 meter race. The former Miami Hurricane ran a team and meet record of 37.99, which also auto qualified her for the national championships in March. Windsor Ironman Lionel Sanders kicked off 2018 with a bang as he set a new course record in the Ironman 70.3 in Pucon, Chile this past weekend. Sanders would cross the finish line in 3 hours, 48 minutes and 44 seconds, beating the old record by 4 minutes and shaving down his 2017 course time by over 12 minutes. The Windsor Lancers football team has made a big splash in recruiting in 2018, calling it their Gold Rush class. And here to tell us a little bit about that is the head coach of the Lancers football team, Joe DeMar. Joe, thanks for joining the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, you're, you're in early 2018, but obviously the Windsor Lancers have been uh, very busy since the 2017 regular season ended. 28 uh, players recruited so far by Christmas. That's got to be a sending a good sign that for your program, coach. Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, you know, that was a vocal point for us. Uh, obviously, with uh, two new uh, head co uh, full-time assistant coaches with uh, Coach Flamia and uh, Coach Frazier, uh, we really just decided that it, it was important for us to get after it a little bit when it came to recruiting. In the past, you know, kind of the holidays where, you know, we got a, in a couple kids, a lot of local kids kind of mm -hmm. focus more on that. Uh, but this year we decided that we had to go full force. Recruiting is a 365-day-a-year job right now, and it's uh, competitive. You said before you wanted to focus on the defensive and offensive line and recruiting. Are you happy with some of the bodies you've been able to recruit and some of the athletes being able to maybe uh, help protect the quarterback and get after the quarterback this year? And we are looking for tall and lean. That was kind of our goal on the offensive line. Uh, all eight of our recruits are anywhere from 6'3 to 6'7. Wow. And all are, are ranging from about 250 to 275. Defensive line, again, it's size. Yep. Uh, we have a couple guys on the roster that, uh, you know, second-year player Zach Taylor, who didn't play at all last year, who we love, uh, is going to be ready to play. Sherry Ducray McCurdy and Linda McCurdy, thanks for joining the show. And this weekend, you guys are hosting a demo on Saturday, uh, January 20th, to mm -hmm. show people just what you guys do at North Star Cheer, right. show them some routines, mm -hmm. some demonstrations. Uh, what are you hoping that people get from uh, their experience at North Star Cheer if they well, come on on yeah, Saturday? Well, because of the fact that a lot of our competitions are out of town mm -hmm. or in the Toronto area, sometimes the parents and the relatives and the friends of the kids that are on the teams never get a chance to see the people compete. Mm -hmm. So this is an opportunity for them to come out to the gym. You know, it would be a nice, relaxed atmosphere. The kids mm -hmm. will be in their uniforms and they're going to be, you know, in front of a crowd to make sure that they're ready to get out there and perform mm -hmm. because with, with besides the athletic part what cheerleading adds is a performance aspect mm -hmm. that a lot of kids really like absolutely you got to be mentally sharp to hit all of your stunts exactly and hit all of your things in in succession uh, is this something that you it helps children build uh, problem-solving skills things like that the other thing outside of athletics that helps mm -hmm. them learn definitely because you have to be thinking quick on your feet if mm -hmm. something goes wrong in the routine you have to be able to get back on step get back in count and be ready to go on with the next portion of the routine mm -hmm. as opposed to stopping it oh you know something went wrong and they have to remember the routine Teams. They have yes. to, we found that it's very helpful for kids who have difficulty sometimes memorizing things. Mm -hmm. The activity of doing cheer and having to memorize the counts and the routines actually has helped them perform better in school.